Richard Kuklinski is called the Iceman because prosecutors say he stuffed one of his shooting victims in a freezer. Kuklinski appeared cool in Bergen County. Who was Richard the Iceman Kuklinski, the hitman from hell? Richard Kuklinski, born April 11, 1935 in New Jersey, was an American serial killer who convicted of four murders in 1988 and of a fifth in 2003. Tough in a series of media interviews, he later confessed to have killed at least 100 more and had have worked as a hitman for the Mafia. Kuklinski's parents were both violently and abusive toward him and his siblings. He maintained that he killed neighborhood cats and dogs as a child and committed his first murder when he was in his early teens. Kuklinski left school after 8th grade and by his account he embarked on a varied career of odd jobs and criminal undertakings but jaded by a great many murders committed by various methods. One of his crim criminal enterprises was the bootlegging of pornographic films and it was through this activity he became connected. Eventually, he was hired as a hitman and carried out assignments for several crime families, including the Genovese, Gambino and the Lafricanti organizations. In 1986, he was arrested and charged in connection with five murders. The first, George Malibent, was killed in 1980, where he met with Kuklenski to sell videotapes. His body was found stuffed into a barrel. The second, Louis Masquet, also sought a videotape deal. He was least seen in 1981 and his particularly decomposed body was discovered some 15 months later. The medical examiner found ice crystals in the body tissues and determined that it had been kept frozen. This led to Kuklinski being called the Iceman. Malabend and Meske had been shot to death. Gary Smith, who had been a member of the Berkeley Ring Run by Kuklinski, was given cyanide. A strangled his body was found under a bed in a motel. In 1982, the body of Daniel Debner, another member of the Burgundy Ring, was found the following year. He had also seen poisoned the body of Paul Hoffman, who disappeared in 1982 after trying to buy prescription drugs from Kuklinski. Was never Located after Smith's body was discovered, after a six year investigation, a suit and Clancy was arrested in 1986 after agreeing to help a federal undercover agent murder a fictitious man. In 1988, he was found guilty of charges related to the murders of Smith and Debner. He later pled guilty to the murders of Nellaband and Maskey. He also confessed to the murder of Hoffman, but charges in that case were dropped. Kuklinski was sentenced to two consecutive terms of life imprisonment. In 2003, he also entered a guilty plea for the 1980 murder of New York City police detective Peter Calabro. While in prison, Kuklinski gave numerous interviews to psychiatrists, criminologists, journalists and writers telling the story of his life and providing detailed descriptions of how and why he committed dozens of murders. In later interviews, he claimed to have killed increasing numbers of victims, many of them members of organized crime. But investigators largely, largely regarded the assertions of the beers. These interviews resulted in three television documentaries. The Iceman tapes conversations with the killer, the Iceman confesses the secrets of a mafia hitman, and the Iceman of the psychiatrist did it. In October 2005, after nearly 18 years in prison, Kuklinski was diagnosed with Kawaski disease. It was transferred to a secure ring at St. Francis Medical Center in Trenton, New Jersey. Although he had asked doctors to make sure they revived him and developed cardiopulmonary arrest, his former wife Barbara had signed the Do Not Recusiate order. A week before his death, the hospital called Barbara to ask if she wise to resign the instruction, but she declined. Kuklenski died at the age of 70 on March 5, 2006, at the request of Kuklenski's family, noted for forensic pathologist Michael Baden reviewed his autopsy report. Baden confirmed that Kuklenski died of cardiac arrest and had been suffering with heart disease.